Good afternoon everybody, this is Machtelt. Welcome to my channel, Daily Dose of Paper. Um, well, today is uh, I'm continuing with Junk Journal January. Um, and I'm doing prompt number... Oh, no, I wanted to do number 14, pattern. Okay, so I'm skipping the garden, I guess, for now, or I'll do that off camera. Uh, pattern and uh yeah that's number 14 so um i did already actually uh actually before i knew that this prompt <laughs> was on um i did some watercoloring on on textile so this is an old bed sheet cotton bed sheet and because the thing is i need some more floral fabrics and i thought well i'll try to to paint them myself with my Kiritake um, watercolor set. So that's what I did. And um, yeah, like these little scraps. So first these, I think I first uh, coffee stained um, the sheets. But anyway, I, you know, I thought, okay, I can do something like that on, on um, old book page, you know, in the spirit of using up my, you know, what I have. And this is rag paper, I think, that I got from Rachel at Roxy Creations. And yeah, I just love this stuff, but you can, you can hoard it forever, you know that. Um, so I thought, let's do some patterns. And yeah, I thought, who, who are artists that, um, well, there's many artists, I guess, that use pattern in their work. But I thought of um, three, for instance, Klimt. Gustav Klimt, I don't have pictures now to show you, but anyway, um, you know, he he's famous for like, in the meantime, I'm just going to, uh, by the way, I'm just going to start, uh, otherwise uh, it's just a, me talking a lot, uh, and I'm going to use my um, Derwent um, graphite ink blocks, I will try that, to do like um, swatches. Or, or like squares and then later I will do the patterns I think with with pen so let's see I'm just gonna do go over it like this and um, see if that works on this rag paper let's, let's, do, let's do it like that but anyway yeah so I thought of uh, for instance Gustav Klimt who has a lot of uh, use a lot of uh, pattern um, in his work and um, Let's see. And I thought of Yo-Yo um, Kusama. You know, Yo uh, Yayo Kusama, I think her name is. The, the, she's a Japanese, well, American, but originally Japanese artist who does, um, you know, she does everything with dots. Big, big, big installations, uh, paintings, but all with polka dots. Beautiful. So that's a pattern, of course. Wait, let's go on to another color. I'm just going down the, down the block, down the block, um, testing out all those colors. Um, and of course, you have Escher, E S C H E R, and he was known for his more, yeah, very intricate geometrical shape so like i don't know i mean i cannot i cannot draw it uh, by heart or but but let's say let's say he would do something with fish for instance i don't know then this you know would be the i don't know uh, the next fish uh i don't know i'm not doing this right but and then so on and on and on you know and and so you yeah he did interesting so that's a pattern as well but that's more like very uh, geometrical and precise patterns so those are the people i could think about but i mean um yeah and and personally i like the the dotting i don't know i i really i did a lot of uh, paintings i think i've said it before on like tiles you know that you use in your bathroom or your kitchen and i painted a lot of um um 
a lot of things on it with just using dots and um, oh I like this and uh, yeah that that's very um, uh, how do you call it meditative I guess oh what a lovely color eh, these are um, very earthy I like that I don't know if this is the way I, I mean I meant to use them but I've, I've you know figured I would try it okay next color what is this like a green or grayish yeah yeah so I'm I'm also really um, thinking about what I want to do um, you know besides John Journal January and I, 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 for instance, like what I did with the fabric, I want to do that. I want to make some more fabric, uh, well, even pages maybe, and <coughs> use my ink tents to um, dye them or, 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 or mark make on them. Oh, look how lovely. These colors are just wonderful um, yeah so Oops. and then the last color of these ones oh they fit exactly wow see as if it was made for it that's beautiful greenish tone color i mean so and then i want to fill these squares with pattern that was my plan. So let's see if I can stick to the plan. Okay. Don't need these. And then I will stick them onto uh, one of my cards, of course. Um, hmm. Maybe I should quickly go over it with my heat gun. Sorry, I, I cannot pass the camera because I'm videoing this in the... I'll, I'll turn it on the soft... Uh, it doesn't make so much noise i hope yeah i have like you have an app where you can pause the camera but i didn't uh, film in that because that's that's well then it's more difficult to uh, upload it somehow quickly you're almost done because this is very thin well, I mean, it's sturdy paper, the rag paper, but it's thin enough, you know, it will dry. So, okay. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Alrighty. Well, let's see. Maybe start with white. And, well, like I said, for instance, Klimt. He does a lot of things like this like swirls and then we can go the other way around maybe so alternate oh. oh i started to okay like this like little swirls and i like for instance these kind of patterns I don't know if you can see if my hand is in front of it see this is my new gel pen or it's a uh, uniball signo and this these in my opinion are the nicest um, uh, white 
pens. Well, of course, you have also the Posca pens if they work. But mine somehow never seems to work. See, I like that. Uh, I have a silver one. I want to do a silver one as well. Um, and then you can do like... But I don't know how clear that is. Well, maybe I'll do it in white. Like little squares. That can be slightly tilted, like the square that it goes inside is not the same or that is like tilted. I like that as well. Can you see that? And this is actually a nice way to make um, uh, like a... Um, yeah, how would you say that? Um, yeah, how, how do you call that? Like in a book that you know what chapter you are at, but this is more like for, for your mark makings, you know, that you think, oh yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice mark that I can do, like a map, but then especially for marks. Okay. Um, I like ovals as well. Oh, you can, you know, you can attach them to each other. Okay, make more and more. Like that. Oh, I can put one in between here. Oh, I like that pattern actually. I don't know if it's so clear actually, because with the sun. And I do have on also my lamp because, you know, it gets from dark to sunny to dark to sunny. So I thought maybe if I turn on the light, it will be clear. Let's see if this helps. If I put it in black over it. No, not really. Okay. Well, let's go then to maybe some gold. Um. What's another nice mark? Well, like a circle, like a little donut. I love that as well. A little donut, oh, like so. And then you can do marks like this. Like two stripes. So, all kinds of directions. Um, that makes me think of little stars. Like this. Oh, and I want to do something with triangles. That is something that I hardly use, but I do like it. But it's somehow not in my um, visual vocabulary, let's say. But for instance, things like this. I like that. And then maybe, well maybe even go in between i like that yeah so if you practice it you know maybe it will or i'm talking to myself now maybe it will become my uh, visual vocabulary oh i hope the shadows wait you know what i'm gonna do sorry I'm going to, even though I love the sun, but I'm just going to, I mean, I won't completely block it out, but I hope it's okay. Um, yeah, I like that. Shall I do another one with, uh, uh, no, this is not good, huh? I have to really 
close it. I think that's better for the video, for video's sake. Uh, yeah, let's do a whole row of like where they well it's basically the same as what i did but okay so i have to practice that more um and what about just dots? Just dots. Very, very relaxing. I'm in my mind I'm still thinking about the word like like a dictionary for your marks. Basically. Okay. That's nice. I do want to use the black. Maybe I will use this one. <coughs> because this one is very thin. <clears throat> oh, you know what I would like to do with the thin one, actually? If you can see. Go around the white dots with a black line. That gives a nice effect as well. And you can do whole sheets of these, and then you have, yeah, and then you always have some pattern handy for collage or stuff like that. Oh, I like that. I like that, yeah. Mm, maybe. Uh, like with stripes. Like alternate between horizontally and um, vertically, vertical and horizontal. Oh, I don't know what that sound was. I have no idea. So nice. Okay. Um, what else can we do? I'm thinking. Mm, yeah, I was talking about Escher, like with the. Um, I did one of my own, I will just do it. Uh, this is my little women figure. Oh no, I don't I don't know if I can do it now, <laughs> if I remember it. Uh, nay, I don't remember it now, like how I did it. Well, something like that. If you if you do it as a whole pattern, you you kind of don't even recognize it as the figure that it is. So, well, that's nice. And the thing is, I think I will just, um, I do feel like cutting them out and sticking them on. Yeah, I mean, maybe that's like extra work, but I, I do feel like that. 
I could stick the whole page, but that's not what I what I want. I want to do it in a, a different way. A lexicon, I think that's, or is that also not a word? Lexicon. Well, if you know, let me know in the comments what you, let me know what I mean, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Oops, nicer to have it a bit straight. Okay. So, oh yeah, try to keep them a little bit color coordinated. What was that sound? I think it, oh, it was probably from my computer, but I, I don't know, I've just never heard that sound. Okay. Well, uh, let's see, where's my glue? Let's see. See, I don't mind if it's kind of, I like that when it would overlap a little bit. So that's what I think I will do. Uh, yeah, so I'll just start here. You know, that I like that dimensional, um, aspect where it's uh, interactive let's say no oh. need to be straight oh, so I skipped the garden well Whew. I didn't realize that but actually garden is not on my mind since it's so Cold. Well, I mean, I was talking about cold, like minus two, but then I heard Annalise from Annalise Journals and Annalise Pellet, and she's in Sweden. And I heard her <laughs> talking about how what a nice day it was because it was only minus, oh, only minus two where she was, because before in Sweden it was like, uh, yeah, what was it? I don't know, minus, minus 30 or 40 or 50 even Celsius, that is. So then I thought, oh, <laughs> okay, I shouldn't really complain. Um, it's... So. What do you think? I like this. like this um, hmm well we have some left but that's okay um, no I don't I'm not going to stick them but you know these we can keep for another uh, uh, or I can cut them you know what I'm just going to make them smaller so that they fit how about that That's what we'll do. Oh, and these I want uh, the pattern to show like this. Um, so we can do it like this. Yeah. Yeah, I love interactive uh, journals also. Yeah, so you can really uh, play with them. 
let's see like this and the last one so wow see how wonderful that is that is nice okay so this was number uh, 14 i believe or 13 have to check uh, 14 pattern well this was very short but sweet for this prompt <coughs> so I hope you enjoyed it and um, I'll see you next time thank you for watching bye bye